Welcome to Prime Card Diary. This is a short clip of what you will be seeing at the end of today's class. Today is going to be a lecture on design of a 3D spray with the use of AutoCAD software. If you are new to our channel here, try to subscribe to this channel as we go on. First on this, we are going to select the units, like what you are seeing on the screen right there, we'll change our units to millimeters. Then the next aspect, having done that, we're going to pick the cycle button on our top menu of our AutoCAD drawing window. We we'll introduce a cycle of radius 600 millimeters. Having done that aspect of it, when you introduce that cycle of radius 300 millimeters or 600 millimeters, sorry. It helps us to have them from there we introduce a line from the center point of our circle which we are seeing right there on the screen as well. So when that line is introduced on the next point after we've introduced the line we we'll have to introduce the array as well which is a polar array for our drawing. Select your line, then pick on the polar. You have to click on the center point of the line right there to introduce your polar array on the drawing itself. When that is done, you go to the top menu on the items. You have to put in 18 items there because we want to introduce 18 polar array items. So when that is done, on the as you are seeing it right here on the screen, then the next step we need to move to we have to try to introduce our layers one of the essence of introducing layers on your drawing is for you to be able to identify the various items and sections of your drawing because at some point we are going to be turning off and turning on some layers it's going to make our drawing a bit more easy for us so we're going to introduce the line layer introduce the layer for our stair then we also introduce the eight layer for the spiral as well. These are the three major layers that we will be using in this particular, you know, uh, exercise. Have it in mind that, and we also introduce different colors for them as well. How also have it in mind that some, that this type of spiral style is one of those we have out there. So. So now we have successfully introduced, I think, the layers and uh, we need to move to the next step. So you make your line the current layer. Then have we done that, we we'll have to select our southeast isometric view. So after this one brings our drain out from the plane. Then we have to pick up your line Pick the line command then from the center point of the circle. You draw up the line to a distance of 3000 millimeters, which is equivalent to 300 millimeters. So, so that is just to make sure that all everything we are drawing there, they are on the line property. That is exactly, yeah, it makes everything right. That means we have it on the line properties now. So having done that, we are the next step is for us to divide this line, the vertical line, into 80 points. But we have to change our console type. You type your P type there, then select the type of dot you want, then adjust the point size maybe to two or three. For me, I'm using two for this drawing. Then after that, go to your command line, type in divide, D I V I D E. Then you press your enter key. Select the line you want to divide. Click on that line. Yes. Then go straight to the to the that type in 18 and press your enter key. Then that is exactly what you get there. So when that one is achieved, the next step we have to go to our layers, then we switch to in layers where we have to introduce the stairs they have to press the press pull button from the top menu 
on the press pool what we try to do on the press pool that we'll have to move each of those polars we've created on the plan to each of the node points to each of the node points so you keep doing this one step after the other all through the step process in the drawing and you just have to be careful yeah at some point you will be able to rotate your drawings around to make sure that you get all the panels in the stairway so each of the node points so when you introduce your steps on each of these vertical node points we're going to have 18 steps all through the spiral way And one thing we need to also have in mind is that when you are doing this type of stairs, remember that spiral stairs most times in buildings, it serves as emergency exit building in most commercial buildings and also heavy duty residential buildings as well. And it also helps to manage space. So these are some of the basic use of this type of stairs as well. So we'll keep in yeah we'll keep introducing the panels to each of the nodes with the use of the press pull body. If at some point your press pull stopped working, what you just have to do uh, you have to go back to the top menu bar there, click on the press pull there, and you continue from where it stopped. Yeah, that is to ensure that we are picking the right panel from the circle to the node so with this method we'll be able to introduce all sets of complete stairs in yeah using the press pull command so when we the moment by the time we are done when we are done with this aspect of it the next thing we'll be going into is um for us to introduce the spirals but before the spiral we're going to show us show show you the conceptual view of what we are doing right now this is primarily the first stage of okay that's the last one right here we're trying to introduce okay Yeah, remember the last one is going to be at the very top of the line, exactly what I just did right there on the screen. So, at the side south east isometry view, you get to see exactly what we have done. Now, what you are seeing right here is a wireframe. This is a wireframe. This is a wireframe. Yeah, this is a wireframe view of the staircase that we are actually modeling at this moment. So at some point we will now have to convert the wireframe to a solid conceptual view. So you go to the 2D wireframe, you put a click on the pull on the arrow, they put a menu, select the conceptual view, and that is it. So have we done this rotate? Yeah, rotate the spiral stair in model so that what we are trying to do here now we are going to press pull like two of these panels up. The reason for this is to actually enable us introduce the line for the spirals that is it just there is no particular dimension for doing this you just press pull it to any height of your choice oh uh, yeah okay so have we done that for me the next step we are going to now is uh, to introduce the spirals like in some cases if at a convenience if at your convenience you are going to introduce the spirals with that turning off the layer for the stairs then that's fine but for me i always like to turn off my layers first so now i'm going to turn off the layers for my stairs that is it 
so I'll turn off my layers okay then some point you have to know the starting point of what we are doing so i'm going to turn on my layers back again then just draw a line draw a line at the base point yet just to enable me know the exact point in which i'll be starting my spirals okay that's it that shows because your spiral must start at the very first step just the way you are sent up so turn off the stair again that's good then now we are good to start our spiral now on the spiral go to the draw menu you just watch your screen you pull down the arrow there select the helix then click on the center point of the circle Okay. then you pull out then on that point where you pull out that line that is the first step you click on that point click on that point then you select the horizontal distance is 600 press the enter key the number of turns by default number of turns is three but we are going to use just one turn you put in one there then the height of the helix is going to be the height of the stairs that well, that is 3000 millimeters which is equivalent to three meters that is it we've introduced the helix so now we have to turn on our step to see if our helix have actually is yeah so that is it so we'll go to rotate the stairs round you can see the green line you can see the green line it's actually going through the corners that shows that our helix is in the good uh, order so okay yeah that is good you can see clearly that the green line is right at the corner in the very right position of our stairs all the way to the bottom all the way to the top sorry So the southeast isometric view. Then you have to turn off the stairs again. Then now the next step is for us to move yeah. We're going to move the console which is the coordinates we will move the coordinates to the center point of the circle to the center point of the circle there now the essence of that is to enable us create the horizontal steps on the helix so move the console to that center point now you will notice that the z is facing north upwards now but in this case we we'll have to rotate look at the just hover over it that is the y to the north now and the x will now have to align to the very first flight of our staircase that is it so we've done that successfully then we'll take that reference line off now we are going to create a yeah a rectangular shape from that zero point from that point just to highlight it but we're going to start out from the very top of the first node from the first node we'll pick the rectangle go to the first node okay that is the first node point there so we just hover that point down and we'll be taking it at a length of 600 which is the radius of that circle then we use a depth of 300 for it okay so you click on dimension on the dimension menu bar there type in 600 
you press your enter key then type in four three hundred sorry then you press your enter key then have we done this then the next step is just to click any part of that window there to fix the rectangle in a good form then that is it yeah then try to move the rectangle away from that line a little bit the essence of that is to enable us to be able to sweep to sweep through the helix yeah you just move it a little bit so that both the rectangle and the helix line they should not be touching themselves because if they are touching each other if they touch each other they touch themselves will not be able to select the sweep button right there then click on the rectangle press enter and click on the sweep part that is it so now that is our helix try to rotate it around to, to see to make sure that it is in the right plane so that is the helix which we have in, just introduced this helix is going to form the final shape of our stairs So you turn on the layers for you turn the layers for the stairways on. Now you can see that the helix is perfectly positioned and is well fixed around the stairs. Try to rotate it around. That is it. Okay. So the next, you go back to layers. We are going to turn off the stair layer back again. We we'll turn it, turn off the stair layer. Then at this point, okay. just to turn on the two D wireframe lines, just to confirm the orientation properly then okay that is done then you go back now you go to our layers here back then we we'll have to turn we're we'll going to turn off the spiral at this point and turn on the stairs yeah we we'll turn the spirals off then we'll switch on our stair. The SS is for us to have to create a union. Now you go to the top menu, click on the union, the solid union button. You highlight over the entire properties here. Then you click your enter button on your keyboard. So this makes the steps, the steps one whole solid body. After doing that, you turn on your spiral. Now the next thing, after having done this, the next stage we will we'll be moving to now is for us to have the solid interaction. We need to interact the, both the stairs and the spiral together this will now bring out the final shape of what we we're trying to achieve the first thing you have to do here is you click on the spiral press your enter button we were sorry for that you go back again yeah to the solid interact okay click on that and click on yeah together that's good so that is our steps we've introduced that and we we'll see have one more thing okay let me just rotate it around for you to see then that's the step finally that is spiral step we just 
achieved now. Now you notice that there's a little piece, there's a little piece of object at the bottom of the first flight. We are actually going to take that into consideration as a major concern and we are going to take it out of that piece. So now there's a way you can actually go about that. You are going to use the cylinder on the box icon on the left side of your drawing. I mean on the top left, on the top left side of your drawing window. So this is exactly what we we'll do there too. In order for us to take the small piece of metal out of that place. But before we do that, we are going to do a reorientation of our X, Y, and Z axis. So we need to change the orientation of our coordinate system before we do that. Yeah, we're going to take that piece off. But before that, we have to move the coordinate system out of that spot and also change the orientation, making the Z to be going facing north. One second, what you do here with us? Yeah, if the Z is on that, it's not going not, you're going to see something like that. It's not going to work out fine for us. Yeah, that is the second, yeah, whatever, so the, our Z have to go not. So just hover over it, that is it. Now, have we done that? We'll go back to pick the cylinder. There is no particular dimension for the cylinder aspect of it that you're going to take, but just make sure that it covers the piece of object. Okay. Yeah, that's fine by me. Then you stretch it up to the very top. Now you go to solid subtract. Click on the staircase. Yeah, that's it. Click on that. You hit the enter key. Then you click on the cylinder and also hit the enter key. Then that takes off. Solid object there. So have we done this successfully, we we'll now need to turn off the layers we do not need, which should be the line and the stairs. Then that now makes us to have our spiral staircase very much available on set. So this is just the simple approach we can use. So remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video uploads whenever I upload new videos so that you'll be the first to get access to our video. So once again, this is Prime Card Tutorial, a good site for AutoCAD, beginners, professional civil engineers, architects, and also a better platform in which you can also improve your drawing skills as well. For free tutorial tips, always come to our channel here for free video upload, free, free video updates. So that is our spiral staircase. It's as simple as that. Thank you very much, guys, for your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking. Drop your comments on our drawing and put your criticism.